Gloucestershire Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust is responsible for the two largest acute hospitals in the county, Cheltenham General and Gloucestershire Royal Hospitals. What keeps our trust at the leading edge of healthcare is our staff. They bring us inspiration and a sense of purpose as we look to further develop a highly skilled, motivated and engaged workforce which continually strives to improve patient care and performance. Our patients are cared for by more than 2,100 registered nurses and midwives and 800 doctors. In addition, we employ more than 600 estate staff, 190 healthcare scientists and 425 health professionals such as physiotherapists and speech therapists. To allow us to keep caring for the people of Gloucestershire, we need the commitment, energy and the drive of our staff. People who do everything from maintaining our grounds and buildings to expanding the scope of world-leading research. We could not function without so dedicated a staff. I'm always delighted but never surprised by the sense of ownership and real pride that our employees take in our organisation. Listening is a key skill for all of our staff, whether it be in one-to-one -one contacts or collectively as an organisation when we listen to the views of our patients, their partners, our staff or any of our stakeholders. To listen actively demonstrates sincerity and shows that nothing is being assumed or taken for granted. It is crucial to successful communication and the establishment of common ground between two parties. Let me put this in simple terms. Every one of us likes to feel that we've been listened to. It isn't always about jumping in with a solution, but about genuinely listening and hearing what is being said. For all of us, we've either used the complaint or heard the complaint that nobody is listening to us. And that is one of the most disempowering things that can happen to anybody. That is why listening is so crucial to our values, and that's why it's important that it is one of our shared values. By listening to people, we learn how we can help them better. And helping is one of the core values of this trust. And it's the reason why many people, myself included, came to work within the NHS. And I think a really key point here is that we need to put ourselves in the place of our patients to see ourselves through their eyes. And if we do that, we can learn how to deliver the best possible services for our patients. Excelling is important to us because it demonstrates a commitment to becoming the best that we can be with an emphasis on excellent patient outcomes. It also shows to our staff that we want them to embrace innovation and best practice. Improving is an important value because it's about the continuous improvement of our services, both patient care and patient experience. And we want to ensure that staff use the latest research findings and multi-source feedback from both patients and their carers. We are united in our commitment to our patients and we consider as part of our vision for safe and effective personalised care for every patient, every time, all of the time. Not everyone within the Trust is lucky enough to be like me who can work directly with our patients but everyone, wherever they work, contribute to the care of patients and I know that everybody who works in the Trust is totally committed to giving and delivering excellent patient care, not only to the patients but to their relatives. Clearly staff at all levels are our key strengths within the organisation. We wouldn't be able to deliver the things we do as a healthcare organisation without our staff, whether it's admin and clerical staff, whether it's domestic staff, catering staff, portering, allied health professionals, nurses and medical staff. We all should be working as a team to deliver the sort of aims of excellence in patient care. So when I look back at the organisation and see what we've achieved over the years, I think that is a testament to the fantastic staff that we have in the organisation how they pull together to help us get to where we need to be. And even through some of the hard times, you know, it is heartwarming to see how staff are actually working very well together, as I said, to get the trust where it needs to be.
Over the course of a year, our staff serve up over a million patient meals, deliver 5,294 babies, process more than 2 million samples, treat 115,000 people in our emergency departments, see 117,000 inpatients and 653,000 outpatients and administer almost 60,000 combined chemotherapy and radiotherapy treatments. Our success depends on the commitment and dedication of everyone who works at our trust. Many of our staff are leaders in their fields and we aim to recruit and retain the best staff possible. We are committed to improving the experience of our patients year on year and we know it is our dedicated staff who enable us to do this.